here to talk about Blind Spot, Season 1, Episode 4, Bone May Rock, or the anagram of that, or maybe not. Thank you, Wikipedia, because I did not know why the episode titles were so weird, but now I know. Let's talk about the case. Two years prior, a guy named Walter was in Level 4 of a bio lab, and he ended up dying because he was in a room with some diseases, and his suit had a hole in it. Present day, Patterson was at home with a boyfriend, and she brought home the tattoos that Jane have on her body, which she shouldn't have, and her boyfriend was being nosy and looking at him, which he shouldn't have, but he helped her crack one of the tattoos. The tattoo had a logo in it, and it had CDC on it. So they go there, and, you know, Jane, she can go everywhere now. She got a gun, she got surveillance. She's on the team. They go, and they go through a determination process which ultraviolet ray go on their face and had or on their body and had numbers on their face the system that was helping them looked at the numbers and it was associated with some dangerous diseases and these diseases were checked out or looked at from walter they go talk to the two head people of cdc now and then they went to look at the diseases but they were all missing it was 10 vials they were all missing while Jane and Willard were looking for the vials or in the place that they were a lockdown occurred Rebecca had did a remote lockdown and they were there about two hours okay they're sitting around everything Jane asked Willard I understand that she doesn't know what's going on with her world and stuff like that I understand it but she always asked the most Questions at the wrong time. She had Willie sit down. Willie tells her, you know, that he was basically the one responsible because mom left. I don't know how old he was because I feel like she was 10. So, I don't know how old he was. Was he 12 or something? But he, mom worked that night and then he babysitted and he went to check on and she wasn't there. She was gone. She had a flashback that she basically walked out with somebody, but she didn't tell Willie. I don't know why she didn't, but she didn't tell. They were in there for two hours. They find out that Rebecca had did a remote lockdown, and she was in the wind. Then they located her husband had got gas on his credit card, so they had the police find her. She had dropped off something and got with her husband. He pulled on the side of the road, and he shot him and her. Shoot yourself! Don't shoot me! Or gonna shoot him and didn't even tell him like why he getting shot just gonna say some random stuff i'm trying to save the world but this is the best way nah shoot kill yourself okay don't kill me and then they find out that she has stopped at a pier that basically people who are on cruise ships and stuff like that go through there to get their plane so it's a lot of traffic going on in there they get there and Willer and Zappa, of course, go to the surveillance room. And then Willer and Jane are on the floor looking for something suspicious and everything. And then they see, well, Willer see a set of suitcases that, you know, are being sold. And all of them had little wires so it won't get stolen. But one bag did. The hazmat team was not um, there yet because of, you know, they trying to get everybody out. And so all the traffic. Of course, the team gets together, secure the gas before it goes off. Reed, Zappa, and Jane are in the hazmat site getting blood drawn just to make sure they're okay. Willard stays put at the site, make sure don't nobody come, you know, trying to do anything to the gas. The doctor goes to him with a hazmat suit, so they set it up to, I guess, contain, contain the, the gas. Patterson puts it together that Rebecca and the doctor were working together and he was planning to get infected with the gas and then go to all these different places and affect everybody. Willer fights with the doctor and loses. Unless, I mean, maybe he took martial arts, but really, Willer, you just, I don't know, lose fights with everybody and guess who comes to save the day? Jane comes out of nowhere, stop him, and knocks him out. Of course. Reed and Jane have a moment. Reed's like, you know, I'm not worried about you. I know Willer. 
he you know on his game and we rely on him and trust him and everything and he gives us a lot of situations but since he's been around you he's been slipping and i really can't do anything about it because you're around and we, but that's just what it is like he's off his a game let's move on patterson boyfriend called her and was like did we solve the case did we put it together i'm not trying to say everybody is something bad but i just feel like something about him like either he worked for the cia or he worked for the people who have jane he's the lookout i don't know i could be wrong but i don't know we don't know how long they've been together and the guy um tom i think from the cia came and he wanted to talk to jane mayfair is like i'm handling it. don't worry about it she don't know nothing he's like i don't believe that i need to talk to her you talk to her and she don't know who you are you gonna sit here and confuse her and ask her more questions Zappa owes some guy named Randy $40,000. She got a gambling problem. She got three days to get it. And basically, that's the seventh episode of this show because these people are good. They solve a case in one day. Not two days, but one day. One day. All this is still happening in one week. Patterson talks to Willer. So, you know, she, he did, she did the DNA test on Jane, who found out she's Taylor Shaw. But then, when her teeth got knocked out, she did some kind of other test. And whatever is on the teeth, it comes from being born in Africa. So, you got two tests. One says she was, she is Taylor Shaw. And then the other one said, but she was born in Africa. He's like, no, she was born in Pennsylvania. So, we got all this confusion going on. The poor girl is going to need therapy on top of therapy. Okay? She don't know who she was before she was tattooed. Now, she just found out that she's Taylor Shaw. But then, maybe Taylor Shaw wasn't born in Pennsylvania and those are her parents. This girl is going to need some therapy. Leave a comment, leave a message, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to this page.